Okay guys, so we are a member of our favorite friend, the Toshiba MB505, right? Sorry guys, I'm just getting this to load. So, yeah, we are a member of our favorite friend, the Toshiba MB505. Well, now it has a BIOS password, which I forgot the BIOS password. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to reset this BIOS power password according to the video that I found. So what we're going to do first is flip it around. And as you can see, I kind of already started the process uh, or just the unscrewing process. So we take the lid off and then we set it aside. So now here we have the MB505. Guys, me to tell, tell me in the comments down below what this is and what this is and yeah. So we're gonna remove this optic, which if you don't know, you could watch parts of a computer in the usage. Well, I'm just going to give you a hint. It starts with an R, random access memory. It has another name shortened. And here we have basically our slot. And here's where our battery is. So we're going to we're going to basically jumper the battery. So how are we going to do that exactly? Well it's actually very fairly easy. You know, some of you that have these type of laptops, you might have uh an Ethernet cable. Yeah, yeah, I might have an Ethernet cable, you know, for the Wi Fi. You know, the one that goes right here, like that. So, yeah. So, we're going to strip this. I'm just going to cut a part of it. So, there, I got this and I chose the. Uh, orange white combination which is right here and i stripped both sorry guys both sides off well guys the reflection well i stripped both sides off as you can see and i'm just going to like spin them together okay bam so now we gotta look at our combination so we have the CMOS battery basically right here, the basically the positive. And here on the RAM slot, which goes like this, guys. You know, if you want the visual image, like this, you will find the ground right there. So one end will go on the U, basically like that. And the other end will go on the ground. And we want to do that. We want to hold that for 40 seconds. So we got to be real careful about this. So we just hold it down for 40 seconds. I'm going to come back after I'm done. Or never mind. I'll just record and see what I can record. Okay, guys, this is hard. Especially whenever there's a mouse right there. So one end on Sorry about that guys. So one end will go on ground. The other will go on the C mouse. One, two, four, five, six. Twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-nine, forty. Okay, so there we have basically jump-started our laptop. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. 
Here we go. So now we're just going to insert back our RAM slot. And we're going to see what damages we actually made to this because I'm not even sure if it'll work. Great, it does work. Though the computer is actually not turning on. Okay, so we have officially configured our CMO, so system CMOS default configuration used. So we want to press F1, I believe, to resume. F2 to set up. Okay, so we can now do anything that we wanted, so that's good. So that's how you reset it. So there we see our police wait. And bam, here we see our CMOS has no more CMOS anymore. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching and enjoy. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't, which I hope you actually give it a thumbs up because guys, this is incredible. I basically bypassed the CMOS and that's hard. Well, thank you guys.